we'll talk about financial statements in Power BI here. I'd say the ones that get used the most, your financial statements, your your general ledger entries, your customer ledger entries, and your trial balances are, are some report, great reports to start with in Power BI. Now you can download Power BI, go to your go to the Microsoft Web Store and search for Power BI Desktop. It's a free app. If you want to publish and share a dashboard with other users, you'll need to get a Power BI uh, license. Um, if you're using it just for your own use, you can use the desktop and publish it to your own workspace. So you'll want to download the app and then log in with your Business Central user. Once you have that, you can start adding data sources from Business Central. And to do that, you go to Get Data, More, and Online Services, and you'll see Business Central there. So you sign in your Business Central account. And from here, it will list first all of your environments that you have created. You'll usually want to go to your production environment. Within each environment, you'll have the different companies. So one thing that's interesting with or valuable for um, using web services is you can query data across multiple companies and and append them together um, as if they're all you know one data source. So you can connect to your main company or any other subsidiaries that you have um, and add them to the same dashboard within Power BI. In this case, I'm going to go to my company and I'm going to go to uh, web services, which is going to give me that list there that I was just looking at um, in, the, in the web services here. So from here, you can add so GL entries here. Um, you've got the Excel trial balance, which is a good one. You've got your aged, um, your customer ledger entries, your vendor ledger entries. You basically will check the box to add them as data sources into Power BI. Once you do that, they'll show up here on the data section. I've got a few examples here. Need to zoom in so you can see it. So this one is an example of the Power BI Finance data source. And if we were to look at the raw data by clicking on this data view over here, you can get a better idea of what's included in that. So if I click on Power BI Finance, you can see I've got all of the different schedules um, that I have exposed in this particular Power BI. If you have others, you can create others. Um, it's got the different schedules and the different lines on that schedule and a date for the net change or the balance for that particular report. So it, it essentially makes that report and puts it into a table format so that you can um, create a report in Power BI. And here's an example for one of the reports. So you've got it by time period. You can look at it. Uh, you can drill into different time periods within it. Um, so by quarter and by month. Go back up. So you can do your standard balance sheet an income statement, um, or if you have a statement of cash flows or another another uh, financial statement that you've created, you can um, expose those as a Power BI report. Same thing with your aging. If you don't put any filters on, it'll run your aging or your trial balance as of the current date. You can change, you can add a filter on the date that you want to run the aged receivables or payables or trial balance as of. And GL entries, so you can, if you click on here, I've got my GL entries data source. And I can go into the raw data. 
of the GL entries and essentially where the first report we had a summary level of financial statement data this is the detail level this is the all the raw transactions that go into each financial statement with this is you can create maybe a, uh, a pivot table or a, a, a summary um, or a list of the transactions with filters so for example if I wanted to create a new table so you've got two types of tables in power bi you've got a matrix which is similar to a pivot table and then a, a, a regular table which is more like a list a data listing so this will give you a summary and this will give you details so let's let's create a, a summary based on the gl entries and we want to include the posting date as a column gl account number as the row and then the amount as the value very simple essentially a a a, uh, a summary by year or time period for each gl account um, you can get a little fancy by concatenating the uh, the description of the account with it you can link in the chart of accounts um, to pull in your account category. So you could see this summarized by uh, account category, um, which would align more with like your balance sheet and PL. And then you could also um, filter on different time periods. So uh, let's say we wanted to just look at can add a filter here and I want to filter posting date do basic filtering a day uh, posting date year so I'll do use posting date year and I'll do 2000 and let's say 20. So now it's, now this report filters just on the year 2020 and by quarter. That's a matrix type report. If you want to do a detailed report, you would click on, um, you would add a visualization for a table. And we can do the same thing where we've got maybe uh, the document number the posting date. Um, by default, when you add a date, sometimes it will try and break it up into uh, different uh, columns, which is, is sometimes nice for filtering. Other times you might just want the date so you can you can switch it to just the date or have the different time periods broken out by column. In this case, I want just the uh, date. Then I can put the account number, account name, and amounts. That's essentially a listing of uh, journal entries, maybe description here, and I can put description, rearrange the columns over, over here under the visualizations. So two different ways uh, to, to visualize things in a table format, either the matrix or the or the regular listing table. The rest are mainly charts. This works well with transactions by customer. Um, so one, one example might be with the customer ledger entries. Maybe you won't want to see revenue by customer. So I'm going to go into uh, create a pie chart and look for my customer ledger entries here. And so we've got amount and customer number and now we've got a pie chart um, by customer number so that, that's essentially the kind of the three the three main ways of visualizing data in um, in power bi one is um, a, a a listing type report like this a matrix report like this or a chart like this and if there's other data that you want to expose in the BC beyond, say, the, 
the customer le the ledger entries, the trial balances. Um, you could add those as a web service, and then as soon as they're added on that on the web services page here, you'll be able to add them here. So things like open purchase orders, vendor invoices, um, customer invoices, um, item listing, customer listing, and essentially any page in BC you can add as a as a web service.